Hello everybody, I'm live. I'm driving down the strip in Vegas. What's up? We're driving by the Bellagio. The Bellagio's right there. Looks like the fountains might be going off soon. Um, we are, there's the Paris Hotel. Hello, Lucas. We've just been interviewing people. Um, that's why I haven't done any live streams. I'm in Vegas interviewing people, independent voters on the streets uh, in Las Vegas for open primaries. It's been very cool. We interviewed a bunch of people today and a bunch of people yesterday. And then we've got some more like sit down interviews with independent voters tomorrow. But last two days we've been on the streets of Vegas. And I saw you in San Francisco at the comedy club near Little Italy. Oh, right on. That was at the... What was it called? The, the tree something? I can't remember. Anyway, so this is where we are in Vegas. Everybody walking around. So I've posted some clips from this on my Instagram, at Graham Elwood, uh, if you want to check that out. And we're done shooting, and I just thought I'd, I haven't gone live. Um, It's called the tree house or something in San Francisco. I can't remember. But I thought I would just uh, say hello briefly. I did a set Monday night. Uh, Josh Wolf uh, does these Monday night shows at the Jimmy Kimmel Comedy Club. I did that Monday night, which was great. Yesterday, Frank Nicotero has a TV show, actually a YouTube live stream show called... Um, Punch lines. That's out of the South Point Casino where he talks about comedy and sports, like sports betting lines. We talk sports, which was cool. There's the ball. Fancy below. There's more driving down the strip in Vegas. There's the Flamingo Hotel. There's now we're coming up on Caesar's Palace. We're right at the corner of of Las Vegas Boulevard and Flamingo. Um, yes, hello. Super chats are available, guys, if you want to support our show. I know it's late at night. We're just going to do this for a little bit, but there's Caesars. There's the Flamingo. And this is my rental car. In Vegas. Who do you have winning the Chiefs versus Ravens and Lions versus Niners? Um, I probably have, I probably have Ravens and Niners. I like the Lions and I, I it's, it's cool what they're doing, but I think, and I think the Chiefs are really good and it's hard to bet against the defending champs, but I think it's going to be tough to win on the road. That's my prediction. Tony D, welcome to follow the money. Uh, thank you, Tony D, for supporting our show. Tony D's a member. Hello, Kinky. We're in Vegas, kiddos. We're in Vegas. We're driving by Caesar's Palace, ladies and gentlemen. Caesar's, world famous Caesar's Palace. There's the flamingo, ladies and gentlemen. Right next to Caesar's. The flamingo is right. There's Margaritaville. Caesars and the Mirage. There's Link. Right next to Link is Harrah's, where I worked for years when the improv was at Harrah's. Menopause, the musical, is there. Donny Osmond is here at Harrah's. Wow. Sin City. Love the Lions. But sorry, lifelong 49er fan. Yeah, I like the Lions, but the Niners, I think, are going to win that game. I think this is the Niners' year. I think they're they pretty a lot of time, and they open up huge holes for McCaffrey. So that's what I think. Casino Royale, very lot of fun at that hotel. 
There's the Mirage, folks. They got the Volcano Show. They get the re they're remodeling it right now. Now we're coming up with the Venetian. It's crazy. It is crazy. Um, my folks used to always go to Vegas and win silver dollars in the buckets. Yeah, back in the, yeah, when you get the buck, now it's all certificates. But I remember that even into the 90s, you could still win the buckets of change and see people walking around. That was a lot of fun. We take you on a little drive down Las Vegas Boulevard. There's Treasure Island Casino. Now we're coming up on the Wynn Casino. The Wynn is a pretty fancy casino. What's up, Dave D? How you doing? We're just in Vegas driving around. I just got done interviewing people for about six and a half hours or so uh, on Las Vegas Boulevard. Really cool interviews talking to independent voters. It was really awesome. Like people all know, and I'm just, uh, I, people understand how broken the political system is. Tony D, I missed the game show. Tony, you're gonna be happy. We shot the pilot in December. And I just had a meeting today with my co-producer on the project, James Rowley, who is an executive producer on um, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. We gave our kind of final notes to get the pilot in where we want it to be. It's going to be a half hour, just under a half hour. And I think it looks really great. And we're going to shop it around. Um, and so eventually it'll be... Um, Eventually, yeah, we're going to sell. It's going to be out there. So the game show, I know you miss it, but it'll be back. But in like true game show form with an audience and five cameras, it'll be great. Still stuns me. They're professional sports in Vegas since Supreme Court legalized sports gambling. I know. Yeah. Um, I'm not doing really, I'm not here doing shows. I'm here doing interviews for open primaries. I'm not like on a paid show. I'm, I'm, I did a guest spot uh, at the um, Jimmy Kimmel Comedy Club Monday night and I'm doing another at the, the, I think it's called the Downtown Comedy Club in downtown Vegas, my friend Don Barnhart. So I'm doing that Friday night. Um, yeah, the Oakland A's are gonna move to Vegas. They're building a stadium for them and they're probably, Vegas is probably going to get a uh, an NBA team. So they have the WNBA team, which has won two back-to-back -back WNBA championships, the Aces. And then they have the Raiders that are here that play in a big fancy stadium. This is The Super Bowl is going to be in Vegas this year, February 11th. Um, look at that fancy hotel right there. The Conrad. That probably used to be the Sands. All the old casinos are gone. Um, but yeah, you got to see the strip. We're coming up on Circus Circus. There's a Vegas McDonald's. Slots of fun. Always big conventions in town. There's Circus Circus. Kinky! Here's one hundredth of an old silver dollar. <laughs> Long way from the University of Unionville running Rebel Days. Graham, you went to Old Vegas when a couple years ago wasn't a big fan. I'm into the history of, of Old Vegas because just as an entertainer, there's a lot. I love show business like history and Vegas is a big part of that with the fact that Sinatra and Elvis and all these Sammy Davis Jr. All these people performed here. So that part of Old Vegas is intriguing to me. Plus, I like history, as you know, watching the political vigilante and Vegas was, you know, built by the mob. 
Um, so there's a lot of interesting history here. Now it's these big, massive, glitzy resorts, and it's it's kind of crazy. Um, but uh, so thank you, Kinky, for supporting the show. Uh, but yeah, uh, Old Vegas, downtown Vegas, they they made it the Fremont Street, Street Experience. You know, it's okay. I I I wish they would kind of preserve. Sorry, we lost you for a second. That lost me. I remember when Reno turned into the old Las Vegas. Um, how long till the first major sports gambling scandal? Oh, that's a great question. I don't know. Vegas needs to figure out their water issue. Yeah, I know. We're in the middle of a desert, and there's like these massive hotels and the, the huge fountains that they all have, and it's like this this desert was not meant to to do this. What what what? every place but especially desert communities in the west needs to everybody needs to be doing heavy water reclamation meaning every roof needs to have a system like if you're just a own a house have the you know put the 50 gallon drums or whatever underneath your your they should just make that mandatory, put that and let people do that to all their homes. And then these big businesses should have to have systems to capture. So when it does rain, every drop is captured. That's the first thing. Um, you know, and then there should be mandatory dual flush toilets, mandatory uh, waterless urinals, like just mandatory things that, that just, so it's way more efficient. We should just be a model of efficiency. Look at this sign, Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. There's the stratosphere, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the stratosphere. So those are my thoughts on water. Vegas is sort of, I mean, I have some memories here because I've performed here a lot and had some fun stuff and it's, there's some nice people here, but man, Vegas also is kind of crazy. It's, it's a crazy place in terms of, once you get off of the strip, it's just kind of, it's nice. It's like Phoenix and there's nice hiking and people I know that live here really like that and the cost of living and everything. Um, oh wow, that's really cheap gas. 335. I got to fill up my rental car. Save the production some money. So you guys are going to see me uh, gas up my car. All right, here we go. Wait here for a second, kids. Wait here for a second. We're gonna gas up the car. There it is, 335 a gallon. That's crazy cheap. Now I'm an electric vehicle owner, but I had to get a rental car for this production. 340, I guess. All right, here we go. Let's prop that up and we'll be right back. Uh, What is a waterless urinal? It's a urinal that you don't need to flush it with water after you urinate because urine is liquid and it just goes down there without it. Does that make sense? 335 is cheap on the West Coast. Oh yeah, it's it's 450 in California. So this is super cheap here. <laughs> so I got I got I gotta get it. But we'll be right back, guys. In fact, maybe I'll I'll lower the window.
Almost done. Ah, it didn't print me a receipt. I gotta get a receipt for the expenses. Hold on, I'm gonna pull out. We'll be right back, guys. It's pretty sketchy, I gotta tell you. It's a pretty sketchy part of town, I ain't gonna lie. Pretty sketchy all of a sudden, downtown. Things get sketchy quick in downtown Vegas. Pretty sketchy. We'll be right back, guys, as I get a receipt. All right, got the receipt, guys. 